Hello Aces and welcome to another trailer analysis, this time we'll be going over the Ace Combat 7 Story DLC trailer number 2. Now this new trailer came out yesterday, it's about what, 2 minutes long, but most of it, most of the beginning is just a recap of the story, like this mission happened, What this is what happened in this mission, this is when it took place. And that's why they show you this uh, date and time. So I'm just gonna be starting at the end, I'm just gonna talk about the new stuff, there's no point in retelling the story. So we're gonna start here at 1 minute and uh, 36, yeah, when I have the little clock, because it's important to know when it's time to erase the borders and all, so let's continue. So, so far he's seen all of that. That's it, that's all the new stuff I'll be going over, but before, I have to, I have to try to sell his combat because it's 50% off in Japan from July the 17th to the 23rd, but I believe it does not include the season pass, so just just a, just a base game. Alright, and uh, here you're gonna hear, I think, I think it's the wise man and Hoshian saying like, wow, and wow, impressive, yeah, like, you know, sugoi, like, sugoi. Yeah, exactly. They're pr they're talking about the the sail, of course, a good sail, but uh, it's probably a reference to the submarine we've seen in the mission. That's just my speculation. So let's go back. Let's let's analyze as we always do. All right. So the first thing we have to take into account is the date. You see, it's like you have the the story of the game is already done, and in the DLC mission you put in the middle, which. I, I don't see any problem with that as long as I mean there's a lot of blank space in the in the timeline that you can say oh this oh, mission also took place there so I don't think it's gonna affect you know the regular timeline of the story mode so this mission takes place on September the 4th 2019 for context for the Ace Combat 7 missions that's two days after the Bunker Buster mission which is mission I forgot 13 sorry 13 so two days after and that's before you know they take the the new air base so bunker buster is already a filler mission filler mission so it's like let's put all the filler missions together around that time because that's after the stonehenge gets destroyed so after one of the arsenal birds get destroyed and before they take farbanti as after they take farbanti with the whole satellite thing everything just gets messed up so that's that's when the mission takes place coming back Take a look at our big boy. There he goes, the new big boy. I know many of you get the, the same facts he feels from Ace Combat 5. I think it's more of a Dragonite class. I'll explain why. But let's take a look at the, the whole picture here, of course. For the Aces, it wants you to look at this beautiful, shining submarine. But let's take a look around. Look how many boats there are. Like smaller PT boats. Imagine if each of them can, can launch a missile. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine maybe more behind there so nine already so nine missiles allegedly and supposedly and they also have these cranes holding these white things that i just don't get it look i'm not a submarine expert but why why would you try to put these white covers is it like a shield against missiles because it looks a bit fragile to me well, but it's Ace Combat, so even Fragile thinks they, they have like a, a hitbox where it hits that and not the submarine. So maybe, maybe, okay, I could see the gameplay. Uh, because get, you gotta have, maybe have to get the, the right angle. But I don't know what the heck the, this thing is. Because it doesn't look like you have any ladders to get on top. Or any useful purpose. I mean, and if you're gonna hide it from satellites, man, you're gonna need a little bit more than just uh, three white things. So that's what I thought it was... Uh, Interesting, and uh, let's see what else we can see when it does a oh, more more boats, more boats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, another one, and we have bigger ones as well. 
this one right here i'm not a sh ship expert i can't identify sorry okay and a way bigger one right here so it's not just gonna be the patrol boats and so right there will also be some support ships i suppose from erosia right birds hate birds and then we have the, the oil tankers and then you have what i assume is the ocean fleet with like seven ships right seven yes yeah, seven and then we have our squadron from the uh the strike group of f-15 now in case it's not clear the protagonist of the dlc mission is also going to be triggered i already confirmed with my interview that he did with me right here but uh you can see at the right at the end when i show the f-15 you can see the three strikes it's hard to see but it's there and I think only that that's gonna be Traeger's plane and the other ones yeah so that's kind of what I observed from the the trailer let's let me just go over some other things that I that I put on Twitter you should follow me on Twitter by the way because you want to see the, the, the news first so in case it wasn't clear it's the same place as mission 8 obviously combat 7 so the facilities probably got damaged pretty bad but uh, maybe I don't know if if they rebuild or just they just have the submarine there. So that's that's the dock where the submarine is, the little part of the harbor. Now the interesting thing is that this is a real harbor, because I mean, you gotta get the satellite pictures from somewhere. So the the harbor from the mission eight of its seven is based on the Shahid Bahonar port in Iran. Sorry if I mispronounced that. I have no idea how to pronounce it. So supposing that it's the same scale as real life, you know, one by one, then you can measure the length of the submarine, which is what I tried to do. So I took it from the very end of the port, where they had like the little pier thing, until about this pier, the large one. And it's a little bit imprecise, because I don't know exactly where the submarine ends. Twitter, why you don't let me show? Okay, whatever. This pier right here is about, that's where about the submarine ends. And that's about 575 meters. That's pretty big. That's pretty long. The world's largest submarine, like the Typhoon class that the Soviets is, like 175, 175 meters. And meanwhile, like the the new aircraft carrier from the U.S., the Ford class, it's 333. So you know, the this this submarine is almost double. It's yeah. It's 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 pretty massive. So, assuming assuming it's the same size, which it should be as real life, then uh, yeah, it's pretty incredible incredible size. And uh, just for the sake of comparison, I think the Synfaxi submarines from Ace Combat Five were roughly three hundred meters. So this one is is uh, way bigger. Uh, also, a lot of people are saying that the submarine looks like a Synfaxi. I'm more on the side it's a dragon class. So here's one reason. I just played it on 5 and you see the opening of the Synfaxi where they throw, you know, the naval aircraft where they take off like the Harriers, the F-35Cs. They fly to the back of the submarine. So that's, that's the back, the submarine go, goes that way. Meanwhile, on the Dragonet class submarine from Ace Combat 2 or Ace Combat 3D. This picture is, I mean, this screenshot is from Ace Combat 3D. The opening thing is to the front of the submarine, which matches with the one we have now. It's the opening thing is to the front. Now, the Dragonet class couldn't launch aircraft, it only could launch uh, missiles. So that's an important distinction. Another reason. Another thing I thought was interesting is that both the Saint Faxi and the Dragonet they have these like it is like a flat hole on the on the sides until you know it yeah, angles down and falls on the water. But I noticed on the new submarine it has these little things. Like it goes up. It's not flat. You know? Now in the Saint Faxi the sides were reserved for anti-aircraft artillery which is what i think it's gonna be in the new submarine but i'm not sure some people suggest that it could also, could also be like for drones or something else again i don't know but i think the size would be the idea for the aa weapons and then 
you, maybe you could put drones to take off from the opening thing. Although, as a reminder, the versions they can the drones can take off from containers, so they don't, don't really need a runway space because they have the jet thing that makes them fly out of the containers. Uh, but it's important to mention as well that the uh, these submarines were mostly for our launching missiles, like ballistic missiles. They, yeah, I think it, it's a little bit different because the uh, the Dragonet class from Ace Combat 3D it's more like regular cruise missiles, while the the same fact as the burst missiles, which is like a mini nuke that destroys everything below five thousand feet. So stay above five thousand feet, folks. And uh, the Dragonite class was pretty weak in terms of AA artillery. I mean, if you look, uh, I think in the in Ace Combat 3D, you only have like two SAMs. I think it's pretty bad. Meanwhile, the same fact, it's, it's, it's beefed up, man, like on steroids. Like, and it's way harder to destroy these placements. So anyway, guys, that's that's my analysis for this, this trailer right now. We're not sure when the, the release date will be. It's Coming fall 2019 or mountain. When? I don't know. When I know, I'll let you guys know. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. And in case I've missed something, let me know in the comments because that happens as well. Oh yeah, just to mention, this looks so different from from the actual mission because it's just the distance. You know, this building right here, it's, it's so far. It's this building. Like, it's so hard to imagine. But anyway. And the, oh yeah, and the weather is clear as well. We're not gonna have the sandstorm in the DLC mission, okay? Yeah, better, better weather. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and see you guys next time.